What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today's video, what I'm going to be doing, um, I've done this a few times, you know, I've done a few commentaries before. You guys tore them up, you love them, you got some information about them. And, you know, this is something I think is really important because you guys are all wanting to know what I did in the tournament. And rather than just talking along the day with you, I think it's better if I really break it down on really what happened after the tournament where I can look at the footage where I already lived that moment and I can pretty much break down everything and hopefully you guys can get some information out of this and you guys just kind of know what we did that day um, for our success. Um, <clears throat> but let's go ahead and get started into it. Before I even honestly hop into this Gunnersville commentary, um, just know I actually have a motivational video from this tournament. It's actually a really great video. Um, I'd really suggest you guys go and watch it. Yeah, I'll leave the link below in the description. Um, but seriously, go check that one out if you haven't checked that one out already. Um, it's just a little motivational video. I think you guys will love it. I'm also going to have a recap where me and Sean are both going to sit down in my boat. We're going to talk about what baits we're throwing, why we were throwing them, where we were throwing them, what was so productive. But um, going into practice on this event, um, I, had, I had a few few things go down. Um, first thing is, you know, we got there first day of practice um, and we got out there on the water, stayed out for about an hour. Caught a few really good fish around four pounds, you know, um, in that first hour. And we're like, heck yeah. You know, this is some spots that we already fished because we both fished an open event um, the year before. So we were already fishing some grass that we fished um, then. And we're like, heck yeah, you know, we got some good fish right here. We're finding a good pattern. You know, these spots are good. These spots are good. Um, and then all of a sudden I went to crank up my boat. My boat would not get on plane. I had some problems with it. We still don't know what was causing the main problem, but we really think it was gas. I had bad gas in it. I thought it was something way worse. The boat wouldn't even get up on plane. I took it to a shop, worked there all day, didn't get to fish the rest of the day. Just just a quick little summary of what happened. Then the next day, um, Sean's dad actually brought down Sean's boat. So that's why, if you guys are asking why I wasn't fishing in my boat, it's because of that reason. Um, and I actually set the GoPro up. I have this new GoPro going in the light, where the light pole would be in the back. That's why it has the whole boat view. And... Um, actually flew off uh, going on to her first spot. So <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to get any practice footage, which really sucks because we caught around 18, 19 pounds that day, not even trying, like literally just go to the spots, you know, once we caught one, we'll leave. And finding all new spots, it was like all new spots. And it was really cool footage, but sadly I didn't get to get footage. But um, let's go ahead and hop into this commentary before I keep you here too long. So guys, as you know, we fished one college event before, and um, that was actually at Lake Seminole. And um, this is our second college event for FLW, Lake Gunnersville, um, 250 boats. And you know, in practice, we, we really, I told Sean, I was like, dude, let's just go fishing. You know, let's, let's go fishing, let's find a few patterns, and uh, hopefully, hopefully get a good finish out of this tournament. I was like, dude, you know, the one thing that messes a lot of people up is Doc Talk. Oh, these fish are doing that. Oh, these fish are doing that. Well, you don't need to listen to that. You need to literally go out there, fish, fish what you know, try new patterns, try everything out, and that's what's going to make you successful. Um, so we went out there, you know, we tried a few different things. Um, I found this pocket right here, and a lot of docks around it, great water, you know, it had a lot of water on the docks, it wasn't like super shallow or anything. So I was like, let's try this out. So in practice, I caught one um, where the footage I didn't get was around um, three and a half pounds, so it was a pretty good fish. So we were just fishing these docks, you know, covering water hoping to get a good bite here in the morning um, we fished two spots previously before this and we do not have a fish in the boat at the moment um but as coming up past these docks right here as you can tell by that big tree right there in the middle um, i'm about to cast towards us cast past that dock but on the left hand side it's actually a flat um it's a spawning flat and you know i, I knew there's potentially be fish there we actually didn't fish this whole cove once i caught that fish off that dock we left and uh Pulling up on this fly, I was like, hopefully we can get a good bite, you know. Um, and so that's what that's what we were going to do. Now that I think about it, now that I think back on this tournament, I wish we would have fished that spot a little bit more, maybe hit it a few times. Um, because I know there wasn't just one big fish on there. But um, right here, I'm pretty sure this is the cast right here. Casting right up on this. Yep. Fly right here. And... Um, Hooked him to a very solid one around four and a half pounds, um, four and three quarters probably. 
um, was a really solid fish. And going into this tournament, knowing that I didn't really try too hard in practice to catch fish, and we caught around 20 pounds, and you know, this is Lake Gunnersville, and I, I just thought it was gonna take a lot more. So right when I got that fish in the boat right there, um, over four pounds, I was like, you know what, that's a pretty good fish. You know, I was pretty pumped about it. Um, but after, you know, I put them in the box, I was like, all right, man, we need like four more of those. <laughs> you know, I, I really didn't think that this tournament was going to be that rough. And, um, but that's a solid fish right there. And if you guys are wondering why I put my hand up right there, there's actually some boats in the background watching us. Um, and that was pretty neat. But we, uh, continuing fishing down this bank, fishing these docks, you know, it got a little deeper once we got towards the main, uh, main lake right here. And it was about to come up on a rocky point. Sean's actually throwing an Alabama rig, hooks up on one right here, and um, listen, you see that right there? I'm gonna make fun of myself right there. Me and Sean sat down and talked, we we're like, all right, I, I told him, I was like, you know, there's ways that I did this in high school, you know, me and Sean haven't fished together much. I either can put the net down and let you drag the fish in the net, or I can go after the fish, and both of us are kind of, you know, miscommunicate right there, but that's all right, you know, we work through our problems, and we're gonna eventually get everything down packed. But uh, that was a solid fish right there. Blues are on three and a quarter. And once we got those two fish in, we're like, all right, that's all right. I was like, we're probably gonna need to cool this one out later. You know, if we're wanting to win this thing, we're wanting to get a good, at minimal 20 pound bag, you know that we're gonna have to have some big fish. And that's no joke, but that was still a good solid fish right there. You know, that really helped us out, especially knowing the conditions. Like at the end of the day, when we didn't know how it was gonna go, that fish really, you know, put us up there. At least those two first fish. Those were definitely the two biggest of the tournament. So right here, as we're moving on to spots, we had this little point um, is actually right before this, and I had this clay bank right here. And you know these decisions that you gotta make even when you're fishing the tournament, you just gotta go fishing. And we decided to fish this bank to the right hand side of it. You know it looked really good, had a lot of structure, had some rock on it as well. Um, contour lines lined up pretty good, had a little bit of water on the bank. Um, had some trees right here in the water as well. And right here, as I'm reeling over this tree, I thought in my head, I'm, a fish is about to eat it. And I'm not kidding, it was weird, and boom, the fish literally ate it right at the boat. It, it, was, it was a moment that I can't really explain, and it was a moment that I was like, wow, did that really just happen? Because, and I about fell in the water right there. But yeah, that, that was just really crazy. I caught that one on a chatterbait. Um, literally saw the tree in the water, had my polarized glasses on. Um, went over the log and literally the fish just smacked it. I pictured in my head of the fish smacking it. Well, moving on to this uh, fourth fish right here. And by the way, I'm only showing the fish that we actually kept in the live, but not the ones that we pulled out or the other ones that we caught. But we found this uh, main lake rocky point. You know, we, we fished it in practice. We caught one off of it. Um, pretty solid fish, around three pounds. And we're like, you know what, let's go back there. We actually hit this in the morning. Um, just the way the wind was pushing was perfect. Well, Sean hooks up on a fish on the Alabama rig. Um, I can tell all that current, all that water pushing in there. And uh, this rock, it wasn't just like a little rocky point, you know. It had a lot of chunk rock pushed out, and those fish can just really sit up in there really good. But that was another solid fish right there. You know, about three pounds, uh, two and three quarters, three pounds. That was a solid, solid fish to our bag. I believe that was around our third biggest. But um, going on to this final fish, you know, we were stressing out. We had about... 40 minutes left in the tournament. I was like, Sean, we gotta get this fifth fish. We gotta get this fifth fish. And I was like, let's just fish. You know, let's just fish. We, we fished in practice. We didn't listen to anyone. We didn't, well, I, I, I didn't even think about the spots I had last year. I was like, let's just go fishing. Well, you know, I said that Sean again and we were looking on the map. We we're looking on the graph and picking all these spots and Sean caught this final fish right here. And I'm talking, he's measuring it right now. I'm talking on the money. 15 inches had to be 15 inches and uh you know god was definitely looking down on us this day and <laughs> that just blows my mind you know like dead on the money and that got our fifth keeper in the boat around you know 40 30 to 40 minutes before we had to go way in but um you know it was a really fun event and i'm really blessed to be able to fish these and you know i'm having fun with it and i really love college you know way more than high school you know, um, the fact that you can do it all on your own. You can drive the boat, first of all. You can drive the boat so much better. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to have boat captains. It's just perfect, you know. It's just you and your fishing partner. And uh, me and Sean have been working together pretty well. Um, so I can only see us getting better as it goes. Um, we actually just fished Winya. I know you guys probably saw um post on Instagram. 
We fished a three day event at Winya. We had 10 pounds, 14 ounces the first day, 10 pounds, eight ounces the second day, and then 13 pounds, 14 ounces the third day. And we actually finished in third place. Um, that's actually what the trophy is right there. But that was a great event. You know, we've had a really good start. This tournament, we actually finished 16th out of 250 boats. So we still had a really good finish and qualified for nationals for FLW. And on there, we qualified for nationals for bass. So to know that we only fished a few events on our, our freshman year, um, in our freshman year, already fishing, you know, qualified for the two national events, just a re really great feeling. And just to know I already got it out of the way and, you know, just keeps me driven to keep pushing harder. And, you know, I'm about to be out of town for the next, like, three weeks just traveling. I'm going to be going to Hartwell Fishing a Tournament. I'm going to be going to Kentucky Lake Fishing a Tournament. Then I'm going to be going to the Bassmaster Classic. we are having a lot of stuff going on. But I'm just going to keep on trying, you know, filming, editing, schoolwork, you know, gym, everything. I'm going to try to get my life back together, get everything on the grind, and I keep everything good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. If you have any more questions about the tournament, be sure to leave them below. If you want to know more about the baits and um, areas where you're fishing, like more into depth, I will be making a recap video with Sean. We're going to talk about, you know, rod and reel setup, our baits, the line that we're using, um, and just a little bit more about the tournament. But if you leave comments below on this video about what you want to know, maybe I can go over that in the recap as well and answer your questions for you. But thank you guys so much for watching. And more importantly, thank you guys so much for the support. It means so much. Um, seriously, you guys... I mean, you got to understand, uh, you know, I'm going through a lot right now with college and everything, and um, I just really appreciate you guys waiting um, patiently for me to post these videos, and I'm still supporting me throughout my journey, but you know, Instagram, I'm always on point on, so I'm always posting on Instagram, if you guys would please follow me on there, um, because that's you know, that's daily updates every single day, um, YouTube's going to be a little bit different, um, I'm just going to have to wait, um, see how my schedule's going because I'm traveling so much, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please hit the like button and leave a comment below. I'll catch you guys at the recap video.